Hello students, let us start our new session of chapter 10, Mechanical Properties of Fluids. Here let us understand angle of contact. The surface of liquid near the plane of contact with another medium that is generally curved. So here at the curved surface, the angle will be generated. That angle between the tangent of the fluid surface at that point of contact and solid surface inside the fluid which is denoted as theta that is different at interfaces of different pair of liquid and solid this theta determines that fluid will spread on the surface of solid or it will form droplets as you can see in the diagram a the water forms a droplets for example on lotus leaf and in diagram B as you can see the water spreads for example on a clean plastic plate. So consider uh, three interfacial tensions at all the three interfaces liquid air, solid air and solid liquid that is surface tension between liquid air that is SLA between solid and air that is SSA and between solid and liquid SSL. So here at the time of contact the surface forces between this medium having the equilibrium in the diagram all these three components is defined SSL, SSA and SLA. So here Cos theta that would be equal to SSA minus SSL divided by SLA. I repeat cos theta equal to SSA minus SSL divided by SLA. So the equation became SLA cos theta plus SSL equal to SSA. Now if we compare, if SSL greater than SLA, here as you can see from the diagram, SSL is greater than SLA, then it will give you the obtuse angle that is between water and leaf interface. And if SSL is less than SLA, then it will generate acute angle in diagram B. Then it will give you water plastic interface. So obtuse angle, that is a molecules of liquids are attracted themselves and weakly to solid. So a lot of energy is required to create a liquid solid interface then liquid does not wet the solid. For example water on an oily surface. Acute angle it means molecules of liquid are strongly attracted to the solid uh, onto the solid. So it reduces the SSL minus cos theta, increases, it reduces SSL, so cos theta increases or theta decreases. For example, water on glass or plastic. For, uh, uh, and for kerosene oil on virtually anything, it will spread on any surface. Soaps, detergent and dyeing substance are wetting agents. They are added the angle of contact between small uh, contact of angle becomes small so it will penetrates well and becomes effective. So that's why soaps and detergents are added in water to remove the 
uh, to make the clothes clean. So waterproofing agents are added to create a larger angle of contact between water and fiber. Drops and bubbles. Next point. That is a liquid air interface that has also energy. For a given volume of surface having a minimum energy that is with least area it is a sphere. If the gravity and other forces just like resistance are ineffective then liquid drops become spherical. As in diagram A, pressure inside a spherical drop is more than the outside. So the drop of the radius R that becomes equilibrium. If this radius is increases by delta R, then it requires extra surface energy. That would be equal to 4 pi R plus delta R square minus 4 pi R square into SLA that is area difference into SLA equal to H pi R delta R SLA and if the drop is in equilibrium then energy is balanced by gaining the energy due to expansion under the pressure difference between inside and outside of the bubble then work is done and that work done is based on the pressure difference into uh, that is pi minus po into 4 pi r square into delta r that is pi minus po equal to twice sla by r so for the liquid and gas interface it gives you the convex side having a higher pressure than the concave side. As air bubble in the liquid have a higher pressure inside as you can see over here in diagram B that pressure is extracted from inside. And in diagram C uh, that differs from a drop and a cavity that has two interfaces that for a bubble pi minus po that is 4 sla by r so this is why uh, we have to blow hard to form a soft bubble that air pressure is required inside of that also Next, capillary rise. Here, the pressure difference will be generated between liquid air interface. That water rises up in narrower tube against the gravitational force. This capilla means hair in Latin. So if the tube were hair thin, having a lesser area which will rise, uh, that would be a very larger. So here, consider a capillary tube of circular cross-sectional area having a radius A. Inserted into an open vessel of water as you can see in the diagram A. The contact angle between water and glass is acute. So the surface of the water in the capillary is concave as the concave surface has been generated. So pressure difference between the two sides of the top surface that is Pi minus Po equal to 2S by R that would be equal to 2s by a sec theta or 2s by a into cos theta. So the pressure of the water inside the tube uh, at the air water interface is less than the atmospheric pressure. 
so in this diagram a consider point a and b that must be at the same pressure that p0 plus pressure plus potential energy rho g h equal to p i that would be equal to atmospheric pressure p a where rho is the density of water and h is the height in salivary rise so here we able to get this equation from above both the equation h rho g equal to p i minus p o equal to 2 s cos theta by a so here this calipari rise is due to the surface tension it it is longer it is larger for a smaller value of a smaller value of diameter and that is in terms of centimeter if a is 0.05 cm so using the surface tension h equal to 2s by rho g a substitute the value of surface tension of water uh density of water acceleration due to gravity and the given value is 0.05 cm for the diameter h we are having 2.98 cm now if the liquid is given the convex surface for example mercury then cos theta becomes negative and liquid becomes lower in capillary next detergents and surface tension we clean the dirty clothes which contain the grease and oil stains sticking on cotton or other fabrics that can be removed by adding detergents or soap into water and soak clothes in it and shake it washing with water does not remove this grease stains because water does not wet greasy dirt so here very little area of contact between them so if water could wet grease then flow of water would carry some grease away but it is not so so what will happen the molecules of detergents are with hairpin shape one end attracted to water and another and other uh, end to molecules of grease of oil or wax so it will form water oil interface so by the addition of detergents molecules attracted one end and oil on other will reduces a uh, surface tension so uh it may become energetically favorable for such interfaces that dirt surrounded by detergents and then by water this kind of process uh using the detergents is important for cleaning uh, recovering oil and minor pores as you can see over here in the diagram some of the steps that soap molecules are added in the water so it will uh, soap molecules attract to waters that will flatter with the particles of greasy dirt so it will be flatten and attract then water is added so dirt is not dissolved permanently but detergent is added with it so the one end of detergent is attracted towards the molecule of oil or grease and another end will attract towards the water molecule so water oil interface will developed so in next it will define that insert the ends surrounded by dirt and it will dissolve with the moving water and last diagram defines that dirt will move away based on the soap molecules so this is how based on the flow uh, of 
the steps are shown how the soap molecules or detergents are added with the water it will generate the water and oil interface and the grease or oil molecules can remove that dirt can remove from the cloth see the uh, example the lower end of a caliper tube of diameter 2 mm is dipped 8 cm below the surface of water in a beaker what is the pressure required in the tube in order to blow a hemispherical bubble at its end in water the surface tension of water at temperature of the experiments is 7.3 into 10 to the minus 2 newton a minus 2 newton per meter one atmospheric pressure equal to 1.01 into 10 to the so 5 pascal density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube acceleration due to gravity g is 9.8 meter per second square calculate excess pressure so here the excess pressure in a bubble of gas in liquid that is 2 s by r and s is surface tension of liquid gas interface here the radius of bubble is r the pressure outside the bubble is po that would be equal to atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to a uh, water column that is 8 cm inside of the water level so po that would be equal to 1.01 that is atmospheric pressure 1.01 into 10 to the so 5 pascal plus uh, as the calipari uh, calipari tube is dipped in water so the pressure due to the water that is 8 cm convert into the water that is 0.08 meter into the density of water 1000 kg per meter cube into g that is a rho g h that is into 9.8 meter per second square so by uh, substituting all the values outside pressure that is 1.01784 into 10 to the so 5 pascal now the pressure inside the bubble is PO plus 2s by r. PO just before we have calculated, s is given. That is 7.3 into 10 to the so minus 2 newton per meter, and r also is given. Diameter is given 2 millimeter, so radius is 1 millimeter. Convert into the meter by substituting all the values. inside the bubble pressure inside the bubble is 1.02 into 10 to so 5 pascal so radius of the bubble is equal the radius of calipari calipari tube then the bubble is hemisphere so the excess pressure in the bubble is 146 pascal clear here we are going to end this session with that we are going to end this chapter hope you understood thoroughly thank you